Welcome to Spitfire Mods. Today we're going to install one of our new fan mods. Um, the difference between this fan mod and our past ones are this fan mod is going to be installed with no soldering. It's just using the scotch lock connectors. So I'm going to go grab our scotch lock tool and then we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you get the fan mod is just look for the, um, take a look at it, uh, you want to minimize its size, so uh, wherever the solder ends, you can trim it down. This may have been done before it got shipped to you, but if not, you want to take off as much excess that's not needed as possible. So it typically should be uh, shrunken down to a nice little square. Uh, this unit is the the scotch lock unit is usually mounted in the front of the unit so what we're going to do is we're going to we take our machine down to a no shell um, status so it's assembled but not shelled right now so the first thing we're going to do is attach to the bottom which is the fan wires the fan wire we're attaching to is the gray you want to attach as close to the end as possible so that you have room to mount it properly the fan wire is the yellow wire on the fan mod uh, these are pre-stripped, so you're going to want to trim the end, and then you're going to slide your gray wire in the outer part of the scotch lock, and then the yellow wire is going to go on the terminated end. And then, using a scotch lock tool or pliers, you're going to go ahead and make that connection. Check to make sure uh, when you look in the end you can see that both wires got hit by the by the metal scotch lock connector and then you're going to go ahead and plug in your fan. So once you're attached to your fan section um, it should look like that. You're going to take it and loop it between your uh, to the side of your USB ports and wrap it around your Wi-Fi adapter so that you come up here and then you're going to drop your housing in the case so now you're sticking out right next to your Wi-Fi adapter the next step is to using a hot glue gun is to take it and hot glue it right here next to the hold downs for your um, blu-ray harness um, and you're ju we're just going to tack it to the front here with a little bit of hot glue to kind of keep it in place and as that glue dries we're going to go ahead and finish wiring it um, I typically take the wires and route them across underneath the front of the wireless adapter or the Wi-Fi adapter kind of keeps them out of the way from your housing when you're closing your housing now we're going to go ahead and trim the red wire and the black wire and we're going to cut the pre-stripping off because the pre-stripping is soldered as well so you're going to want to cut that off so that you can strip a longer section of the black wire so we're going to strip our black wire about a half an inch so we get a good ground and now we're going to be scotch locking our red wire to the wire that is on your power supply connector on the right hand side so again same as before we're going to insert our power supply cable we're going to keep the wire kind of in the middle of this one we're going to slide our red wire in the uh, the second wire position and we're going to go ahead and attach that and then make sure that both wires dropped in place which uh, looks like they did so we're going to go ahead and attach that wire attach that cable Now you always want to keep an eye keep an eye out for where you're routing things to make sure you're not going to inter be interfering with any connectors later. Um, this wire here is usually this little connector is usually um, best laying flat like that, and then your other wires can go kind of down underneath your Wi-Fi adapter. Now our ground wire, we're just going to go to our closest 
accessible spot. And we're going to loosen the ground. We're going to wrap that around the, the ground lug. And then we're going to go ahead and screw that down. And that's basically it. Um, we're now installed. I like to uh, keep these wires out of the way. I like to either tack them down with some hot glue or something. Actually, one thing you want to watch out for is the red wire. You want to keep it away from the um, any screw holes, uh, the yellow wire as well. So we're going to tuck them underneath, but we're also going to tack them out of the way of, of any of the screw holes so that they don't get compressed and shorted out. So with everything out of the way right now, um, we're going to go ahead and reassemble our PS3. And the main, or the easiest way just to test your power supply or your um, fan mod is to Turn the unit on, you should hear a little uh, a little bit of a boost of fan right in the beginning. Normally a PS3 kind of boosts right in the beginning normally, but now you're going to get kind of a double boost. Yeah, so the fan cooked up uh, good and high and then it dropped back down, but yet you still feel a good airflow blowing out of the unit. Um, the ARU one units barely move the air, so this, un this unit's now moving the air much faster. So uh, that's it. Um, that's the installation of the fan mod without um, any soldering. And good luck with, uh, with your PS3s. Thanks.